Hello Lego fans, adult fan of Lego UK here. Welcome to my review of the Lego Creator Winter Village Cottage, set 10229. Um, this will be a full review of this set. Um, I've already done an unboxing, so I will link down to in the description um, that video. Um, there you will get a view of the box itself, the contents of the box, and a quick review of the instructions. So, first thing I'm going to go through with you is a review of the minifigures, then I'll go through the actual set itself and some of the functions and features within the set. So, on to the minifigures. Okay, so the first minifigure is the mom or mother. We can see there. Uh, red printed torso, rear torso printing too. See nothing on the legs, she has black legs. You can see slightly different um, colour arms, different shade of red. You can see obviously her face there and her dark black hair. Okay, I believe, yep, just single side printing so that's our mum okay next up we have the dad which we can see there he comes with a couple of accessories so he has his chainsaw and an axe so I'm just going to take those out so you can get a better look at the minifigure itself There we can see again the torso printing. No rear, no rear printing at all. You see the face, and he's got this little red cap on. See there his face with his uh, beard. Again, this one has no rear face face printing, so that is the dad. Okay, next up we have Grandma. You see there, the accessory she comes with is this little red mug. I assume that's got some hot chocolate or something like that inside. Let's remove that. Okay, so we see the torso printing on the grandma. No rear torso printing, um, blue legs. You see her face print in there, the red lipstick, and obviously her hair, so I'll take that off. And again, just a single side face printing, so there we go, that's Grandma. Okay, next up is Grandpa. You see he has in his hand a newspaper. Get that focus in, it is the Winter Times. Um, there's actually a sticker um, on a tile, just a 2x2 two two tile. Let's take the paper out. Here we can see some printing on Grandpa's top there. He's obviously got some sort of jumper on with a shirt underneath. A little bit of rear torso printing. He's got these brown legs. You can see the face detail with his grey moustache and grey hair and this one does have some rear face printing as well so on that one you can see there and again there okay so that is Grandpa. Okay, next up we have the children. So our first child. You see there on his skis and his ski poles in his hands. Also, we can see the shorter legs to represent the child. See his torso print in there. He's got some kind of jacket on or a body warmer. Um, some rear torso printing. 
He's got this little grey helmet on, you can see there. See his face print in there. And he is only single sided face, so that's our first our first child. Okay, second child again on skis. So again you see the same skis and the ski poles. Uh, torso print in there with a scarf obviously around her neck. It's obviously a little girl. Again, see some rear torso print in there. The shorter legs, blue legs. You see the face printing and detail. And obviously her hair, this brown hair. And again, just the single sided face printing on the girl. Okay, next child, uh, the final child rather. Um, another little boy. You see there, shorter legs. He's got this green jacket on. You see the print in there with the zip down the middle. Um, some rear torso printing. You see his face, big smiley face. Obviously enjoying himself out in the snow. <clears throat> got this brown hair. Just look there. And this one, this little boy does have uh, printing to the other side of his face. You can see there he's sad on that side, actually crying. Um, and on see that side happy so happy sad happy okay so that's our final child okay so our final minifigure is our snow plow driver which we can see here so he's got some dungarees on you see green dungarees with the legs going up into the torso printing and you can see that continuing on the rear See the rear of those dungarees on the rear of his torso. The face printing. See his little stubble beard. He's wearing this little grey sort of beanie type hat. Um, and we can see there there's no rear um, face printing. So it's just a one sided face again. So that is our snowplow driver. Okay, next up I'm just going to go through some of the separate um, uh, buildings and vehicles in this. So we'll start with the snow plow itself. Um, very cool looking little snow plow here. You can see, just take you around there, spin around. Okay, so we can actually see the plow function on here so you can remove this very easily um, it does just uh, clip off there you can remove these as well um, so you can have it actually without the plow um, attached to the front and that just clips back in place and um, we can see on the side here we have a broom on the other side here is a radio these can obviously be removed the wing mirrors, obviously the front grille there. You see the wheels, chunky tyres on them. You can see there the flatbed truck here, where you can obviously load things onto there, like the firewood, for example. Um, the top does remove, so that we can put our minifigure in. So we can just see in there where our minifigure um, can sit in there. So obviously the snow plow driver. Uh, can fit in there the doors I believe yeah the doors do open on both sides you can see there so you can see inside again um, and these mirrors again on the side can it be adjusted um, slightly and obviously we have these mud guards at the rear um, but yeah cool looking little snow plow uh, next up is our sledge, which is obviously what the little boy is looking forward to playing with. Okay, you can see there, and there's this little um, bucket uh, that sits in there. Obviously, collect some snow in the bucket. Got quite a basic build on that. Uh, got this little rope piece on the front to pull the sledge along. So that's it for the sledge. 
Next up is this igloo. Spin round, just show you around that. You see there, there's the entrance you can see inside the igloo there. Up here we have this chimney stack which goes in and I'll show you the inside in a second. On top of the igloo we have this owl with some really cool printing. As you can see there. Okay, so the top of the igloo just simply boos off, like so. Um, and then if I show you inside, you can see there's kind of this little stove area down here. Looks like there's two hobs there, um, where you can obviously make a hot drink. Um, but that's it for the inside of it. Um, so there we go, so that's the igloo, and you can see there we have these tile pieces. Uh, obviously this um, plate here, so this just obviously simply slots into the middle like so. Okay, that's our re glue. Okay, next up we have the storage shed. <coughs> you can see there. So, first thing down here is the um, pieces of the firewood. Let's get that to focus. There we go. Um, so that's the firewood all been chopped up there, ready to take indoors, put on the fireplace. So inside this, pretty good. You can see in there, there are a number of tools and accessories. You see there's an oil can in there. Um, if we can see up in there, there's an electric drill. We have a hammer, a spanner or wrench. Um, and again there, and then we have the little workbench in here um, also. Um, but yeah, really some cool little features um, in our little um, workshed area. Okay, we also have a separate tree. Um, obviously the standard tree here, so this is the larger one. Um, and actually in the set itself down here. Um, is a smaller tree, but I'll give you a closer look at that when we um, have a tour around the actual cottage itself in a second. Okay, onto the actual um, winter cottage itself. Um, as you can see there, the front view of the cottage, and I think this does look really good um, with the little different coloured um, bricks that they've used. Um, obviously, we can see a number of decorations, um, winter stroke Christmas decorations um, across the cottage itself, around across the top. Here um, we have a string of obviously Christmas lights um, across the top there. Um, down in the corner we have this great looking lamppost again with some uh, Christmas decorations on it. And like I pointed out earlier we have a smaller um, tree here, Christmas style tree. See here our front door, on the front of here. Again we have a Christmas um, reef on the front of that. That is actually a sticker, so there's a sticker on the door there. So you can see all the shutters, um, windows, um, within the front of the cottage itself. I'll start to spin this round. Okay, we can see our um, chimney stack there. Going all the way up to the top. Obviously with a chimney detail at the very top there. Um, down here, I'll show you this now while I'm here, but that actually operates our light brick. You can actually see the light brick lighting up there. And I'll press it and I'll show you that when we get to the interior. So just round to the other side. Okay, we can see the other side of the cottage there itself. So again, um, some downstairs window and an upstairs window again with some great um, Christmas decorations across the top of that window. Then obviously um, also at the top, but again you can see this great combination and use of these different um, colour bricks and indeed styler bricks down here then obviously the white um, plates obviously is going to be what represents snow down here and we have some raised pieces here um, obviously where some of the snow has um, drifted so onto the rear so the rear of the cottage itself is obviously open 